Here's Elite Ammunitions Protector 2 from our 5.7 pistol versus Ballistic Bob. Well, so far, Bob, after sewing them back together, Protector 2, he's unharmed. Here was our entrance. Put a big dent in there. It's warm, but no pass through. There's a nice big dent there. Here is Elite Ammunitions. 55 grain penetrator round. Again with our 5.7 pistol. Still one piece. Here's our 55 grain penetrator round. Entrance. No exit. But that pulled that out of this and pretty far away. I mean there's a huge dent there. Bob's got a dent in his head. But no pass through. I don't know if we tore this apart if we could find that rounded. Oh, actually, actually there it is. There are still quite a few layers. Let me see if I can dig it out of there. Here's what it actually, here's a recovered round. We're able to dig it out of there. Smushed up pretty good, but it still stopped it. I was asked to retest EA's S4M. We're going to put three rounds in here, shoot three different spots, and see what we get. Hold on. Shot one didn't go through. Go to shot number two. Shot number two. Bob's still in one piece. Shot number two still didn't go through. We're going to put shot three as close as we can to shot number two. These were all it right here. Yep. So we put three shots of S4M. All pretty much really close to each other. No pass-throughs at all. It just must be with how rigid these helmets are that it's uh, causing that round to mushroom out. We're at it again today. We have some more 5.7 loads versus Ballistic Bob. This is Elite Ammunition's Devastator round, all copper. I do believe this is at least version 2.0. I have another similar load that has a band towards the top. This is a 30 five or 36 grain basically full metal jacket all copper round So here's our Devastator 2.0 round. Here's our entrance and exit right there. I th wonder if this little dent right here is it traveling through because I didn't put that dent there. It's a little tiny dent. Bob is obviously dead. I don't know if that's the entrance or it must be the entrance because we had him facing that way. Things went in there lengthwise. Here's our recovered round. Bent the tip over, but still one piece. There was the exit on the back side.
Here we have Elite Ammunition's original LEO only round. This is a 45 grain Barnes banded solid. We're going to shoot this against Ballistic Bob from our 5.7 pistol. Here is our entrance with the brass devastator round. The exit really started ripping that away. Here's our entrance and exit. We found the round laying right there on the uh, floor. Just kind of did like it did with the copper or bent the tip forward, smashed it in. Here we have some 125 grain 357 SIG versus our warrior helmet, Mr. Ballistic Bob. Here is our 357 SIG, no pass through. But it broke the shit out of this helmet. There's a big, huge bulge there. Now let's shoot something a little faster. Now we've got the fast stuff. We have 762 by 25. This is an SB ball round from our CZ52. So here was our 762 by 25. Here's our entrance. And we don't have a pass through. We're going to try the hotter military surplus loads now and see if we can get it to go. Now we have some military surplus 762 by 25 copper wash steel jacket. Here is our military surplus 762 by 25. There's our entrance and no exit. There's a bulge there, but no pass through.